Well, hello again and welcome to my channel. Guess what? Today we're going to talk about Luma Fusion. Uh, just from the beginning, I'm going to tell you everybody who is using Luma Fusion for a long time, you better not watch it because it's not for you. You know a lot of things. But for me, as a beginner, uh, I try to start explaining things that I could find on online, but among others, a lot of information so I can find just a bit. I'm going to start with bits and pieces for everybody who, who is starting to work on it like I did to be easy to put together a recording. You gotta hit play. And now, with all this being said, for the ones of you who don't know what Luma Fusion is, in 2023, now when uh, Apple just took out the Final Cut X Pro on iPad Pro, and this is not an iPad Pro, um, it comes with a great cost. It's not just a monthly payment, but you need to spend thousands on an iPad. Instead, if you're beginning or you just want to use something for yourself, go on a trip, want to record, throw in some pictures and some movies, it's very good. Luma Fusion is a very cheap software for editing. This, what I have here, is an iPad Air 2020. It works very well, 512 gigs. So, it's pretty much it. Uh, the main issue I've, I've noticed in LumaFusion and I'm using it, I've been using it for one year by now is uh, they've got templates from um, Storyblocks. The issue is if, like I did, you buy something and download from Storyblocks like 4K short videos for intros and outros, LumaFusion, some of them cannot open. And I emailed both of sites, the Luma Fusion, yeah, and the Storyblocks, and they don't blame each other. You see, go to this, talk to that, talk to that. So there's one issue you might as well have if you want to use something else, other than one or two. How many Luma Fusion has inside? Now, let's start. See how we open a project, how we can just drag in a video, a picture and work it with sound just a bit for the beginning stay tuned so now we just open the luma fusion of course and first we need to make a new project we do that by going on the bottom left corner of the page there's a plus sign touch it and then near on the right we've got another plus sign we touch the second plus sign now and this is where we can change the name of the project. Let's see, test for the sake of this video. And touch the plus button on the top right. And now we've got the new project. We wish to add a video for now from the photos, which means we go all the way up on the left corner, touch it select photos and we are here select the first all photos and videos and we're gonna have everything in our photos and uh, now let's check this video which is the video I've made on uh, on the London Eye you've got the, the recording on my channel if you want to watch it and under the video on the right side we have an arrow pointing down touch the arrow and the video goes on the timeline see this is the video if you want to check it more thoroughly we press play here and we hear everything pause again and now we want a song everybody who watches the video maybe I think they should listen a background song so what we do right now we go on the top page and we've got here this circle with with three dots in it check it and then touch import media and we import anything from wherever we have uh, the songs here usually i'm using the file app because i don't have a dropbox google drive onedrive i don't have it But now, I'm gonna add from the songs that I already downloaded 
in the in the app. So I go back on the left when I where I selected photos, and I select imported file app. And here we've got everything we work with: my former video and some of the songs. Let's select one of the songs. And again, we have it on the right. Guess what? We go down on the arrow pointing down, touch it again, and the music is added to our video. Now, if you've been through here, through all the video, Thank you very much for watching and if you think there's anything useful you learned so far, please share, like and subscribe. See you in the next one.